What's up guys, Coach Joe, it is Mobility Monday. I'm coming back at you today with another band mobilization. So we've been hitting on these a lot lately with the Mobility Mondays and using them a lot in our sessions to help people with little, little restrictions that they might have in their hips. Uh, we've done this before with ankles as well. But if, if you go through certain movements sometimes and you feel different pinching sensations or almost like something's like, like running into something else in your hip, then it could be that that uh, femur is out of place in the joint. So when that happens, like, like the most typical case for that to happen, at least with the folks that we deal with here every day, like busy parents that, that have kids they work with and they, and they have their jobs where they sit a lot all day, is the bone tends to move back into the socket. Uh, so we want to bring it forward some. Um, and then there's also times where it moves into the front of the socket, but there's, there's different reasons for this. But what'll happen, you'll go into a squat and you might feel a pinching sensation here. And a lot of times what folks will tell you to do to fix that is to get into a half kneeling position like this. So let's say I felt a pinching sensation on this side and they're telling you to stretch those hip flexors, which is some of your quads and then there's some deeper stuff inside the abdomen. Now, most people do need to stretch their hip flexors, but the problem is you're not having an issue in this position. You're having an issue more in a position like this at the bottom of the squat. And what's taking place is actually called impingement where the front of tissues in, in the hip socket are getting pinched between the bone and other aspects of your body. So what we need to do is get this bone, this femur, back into the middle of the socket where it belongs. And there's different ways to do that. And we've shown you over the last several Mobility Monday segments ways to do that. And one that we hadn't shown you yet uh, that helps to, to move that femur sort of back towards the back side of the socket, which can be good if we're getting a pinch in the front of the leg in a squat, uh, is a banded hip mobilization in a pose that's very similar to what you would call a pigeon in yoga or a pigeon pose. Now I'll tell you that this is different from a pigeon pose, but it is, it is very, very similar. And for most people, to give them a point of reference, that, that name kind of helps. Most people like the pigeon pose a lot because it, 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 it stretches the hips significantly. Uh, the glutes to a degree, hamstrings almost a little bit, uh, and it definitely hits the piriformis muscle, which, which tends to be tight or overactive in a lot of people and can lead to radiating pain down the leg. So more than likely, even if you don't need this, it's going to feel really good. But you can go through this routine that I'm going to give you, and then if you get up and move around and things don't really feel better, then it might not be something you have to spend time on. Uh, so if you're getting a pitching sensation in your squat, this is a good one to start with. Okay. So I, I'll put the band at a low anchor point because I'm going to be low to the ground. And then I'm going to take the band and bring it right up as far as I can into this crease right here. And then I'm going to slide out away from the rig or from whatever your anchor point is to get a lot of tension on this band because we're trying to move things here. And I, a lot of times you have to use your hands to help hold yourself up. And then I'm going to take that leg and I'm just going to curl it under. So oftentimes in a pigeon pose, people will work that leg forward and they'll work on sinking down to the floor. Sometimes they'll grab that back leg and pull it in. And this one, we're going to get in a similar position to a pigeon, but I'm not going to worry about bringing my leg up. I'm just going to keep it in this position. And already for me, I can feel a stretch back here. What I want you to do though, is work yourself away from that rig, get a lot of tension, a ton of tension on that band. And then just sit here and relax, breathe. And we're just gonna let the hips kind of fall. And then I'll come back up. And as those hips fall, you'll feel an increase in, a, in stretch across the hip right through here. So you fall and then come back up. So you can go anywhere from 10 to 20 reps on that fall, come back up. So again, I hook that band as far up into this joint or into this crease as I can, bring that leg out in front, and then I moved away to get a ton of tension on that band, and I've got it sort of angled back just a little bit. And anywhere from 10 to 20 reps real slowly, I'm gonna fall and then come back up. So that is a banded hip mobilization if you're having uh, pain in the front of the hip when you squat, this could be a way to help with that. Um, as always, if, if you think it could be something worse, definitely go talk to, a, to your doctor and to a physical therapist and they can help you out. But these are some ways to try to work on stuff alone. So if you try this and you get up and you move around, it feels great. Like for me, I just feel lighter. I feel more fluid. It's like things have woken up in that area. Uh, and then we've done this with people before and they immediately stop having that hip pain in their squat. But if it works for you, keep doing it when you need it. Uh, try to work it into your routine every week. If it doesn't seem to do much for you, then it might not be the answer. If you have any questions, feel free to throw them in the comments below. Seriously, we'd like to answer comments. So whether you're on YouTube watching this, and you got to watch the whole thing, you're on Facebook, 
Hit us up in the comments below and we will be happy to answer any questions you have. And if we don't know the answer, I will direct you to some great places that for sure will have that answer. All right? Have a great day.